What's going on, everyone? Commodore last here brings you guys my live reaction of One Piece manga chapter 1061. Now, the chapter is out early. We are home early. We are here today to sit down and read the latest installments of the pinnacle of our literature. I was told the chapter was going to come out same time as usual and everything. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to let what happened last week happen again. I don't want to just be sitting around at work waiting and waiting and waiting and stuff. I was feeling a little bit off today, too, in terms of health and everything. So I said, you know what? Let me just clock out a little bit early, take care of myself. Get my cure, because my cure is right here in front of me, man. The latest installment of the greatest adventure story ever told. It's your oldest masterpiece. And after last week's chapter, man, I was almost knee sliding through, like, shards of glass. And I mean this because the glass itself being what happened to Sabo. Because, listen, I, str I strongly believe that he's alive. Refuse to believe that Oda just said, you know what, let's take him out the paint now. Any involvement, and I, I forgot who it was that brought it up, any person that was involved with Vivi in terms of, you know, explosions, things going off, all ended up surviving, all right? All of them ended up surviving. So for the third time's a charm, no. Sabo's going to be fine. I know some people were saying, too, that maybe he was on a ship or something that were outside uh, the Lucia kingdom and everything, which, if that is the case, fair enough, but it's kind of tough to say because when I was looking at, like, the other areas and stuff of that big panel and everything we saw like the people lying around within the city like you know um moda for example which i didn't even realize i was her in the chapter because again like the silhouetting and like the way the art and stuff was was i didn't want to just go and start assuming stuff but that's tough if you read the cover story with ace that's a tough one right there but we got that what happened with sabo that was my concerns and worries and then my man decided you know what you want to cope you want to have something at least to hold on to to give you some form of sanity? Let's go and give this man lies. His girl, the true one. The one that he has been on air, at bat, putting over whenever she has an appearance. Saying that she is the one that's coming up for gold status. I'm talking about Jewelry Bonnie, man. I Listen, the fact that she is right now with the crew. And she probably most likely... Most definitely has answers of what happened in Mary Joa, with Sabo, with Kuma and all that. Kuma more than likely threw her into that eddy, like, you know, the whole traveling thing. And then she probably got caught into it. Whatever it means, we'll find out. And that's what we're going to do. Because I need to see you, my girls, here. And if so, I got something right there in hopes that she's there. But anyways, let's get into the chapter. Enough talking. Let's get into it. Chapter 1061. All right. So, chapter is called Egghead the Islands of the future. I remember they brought they talked about Egghead before with the whole Kobe stuff and everything because there were uh, the Marines were gonna dock over there. And I don't know why I did not bring this up and stuff when I saw the Egghead thing, but shout out to Dr. Eggman. Shout out to Sonic Frontiers that's gonna be dropping in November. That's the game we should be paying attention to, not the GOW one that people are gassing up and stuff. Sonic Frontiers, go cop it. And shout out to Sonic Prime in the, the winter. But Egghead, the island of the future. That is very I got an idea just because now it's coming to mind because it said Island of the Future, but I want to read. I want to read. But okay, we're seeing over here is Ichiji. Let's see, is the Reiju there on the bottom and stuff? Though it says Iniji and then the Yongji. Yeah, Reiju is on the back and stuff, and you see Caesar at the bottom. So they're making their, their escape and stuff after the uh, hallucination gas went off. Kind of Korea and then hit oven after, and then oh, it happened. I know some people were kind of like weirded out of the way that happened, but honestly, like. My thing is like, okay, it, once concentration's out the window for Katakuri and stuff, which we had saw in the Luffy fight, this was going to happen. So, like, I'm not I'm not annoyed by it whatsoever. I can see why some people are, but it's like, bro, if you're we're in a fight going off against somebody and they throw the hallucination gas, oh, just because I have observation hockey. Concentration, my man. Like, that's why we're talking about, like, a football manager. If you got, like, less than, like, 11 concentration, you are not getting signed. So, anyways, German 66, cold-blooded voyage, volume 19, time to escape. Niji and Yongji are free. So, yeah, so they're making their run. So, I'm assuming the cover story is going to be ending up uh, wrapping up very soon. So, all right. Who's that? She just popped out of the water. Oh, so let's go. Thank God. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to hope that I get to see her before I do it. Hurling through the air. She just popped out of the water. Okay, so it's a little part. It's a breadcrumb. It's a big, big breadcrumb. Gas, cough, cough, pen. Oh, she has the tears in the eyes and everything. I mean, of course. Like, we got to throw into that Eddie and stuff, especially after uh, what she probably saw in Mary Joa. 
definitely able to understand the, the fear that's in her eyes right now. Cough, I'm saved. Who's there? Wait, where did that monster go? Is she? No, she, she gotta be talking about him, bro. She gotta be talking about him. I have to believe. She's gotta be talking about him. There's no way. Unless there's something more frightening that I don't know about. Wait, where did that monster go? It's still below. Look down. Don't look down. <laughs> don't, there's a monster. Look down. Don't look down. What do you mean? It'd make you worse. Good. She seems safe, but just how far is Luffy going to keep flying? I think that Run's trying to say something. She said to look down. Oh, what in the... Oh, my God. Is Sea King? Bro, what is this thing over here, bro? Listen, we've seen the Sea Kings and everything before. Is that Jaws? Is that Jaws, bro? <laughs> the thing is monstrophic. It's like, huh? There's something scary beneath us. Let's scream before it surfaces. Or, let's scram. I'm about to say, you scream, that thing is going to come right after you, man. Nah. That thing looks massive, though. It's probably the biggest shark I think we've seen so far in terms of the Sea Kings with One Piece whatsoever. But, yeah, I mean, that thing's about to be devoured with the Sunny. And here it comes. Oh, okay, wait. No, nah, never mind. It's a Mickey. It's a Mickey, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Mickey. <laughs> That thing like, went, went like right out because like no, he's not him. He, he was not him. Ah, so you see if that the sunny wait, hold on. It has some writing on it over there. It says U and K. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Remember it was said, I think it was Boa or it was uh Shocky. They said something about Vegapunk's, like, paddle things or whatever it is. Because that was the first thing I'm thinking in my mind. Like, the old U1 Keans. Keep reading. Let me keep reading. I don't want to stall and stuff because I'm already doing enough of that. But ideas are starting to pop in my head, and that, that's, that's a very scary thing. What the hell is this thing? A shark? No, it's too big, and it's made of metal. It has to be. Yeah, the Vegapunk uh, paddle things and stuff. Yeah, because I remember that Shaki said something about them and everything. But I guess this is what they're supposed to be, like shark mechanical things because you see like the bottom underneath like with the chin of this i know it's like a vein or a pipe or something but hold on tight it's gonna be a rough landing not good luffy and the others fell in the sea oh no frankie take the helm steer the ship over to us you got it see this you know what even more because i, I remember i think we said this before at the time and someone came to jimmy coming through the fact that we actually have someone who's a fishman that can go out and help the delphi users who get stuck in the water and stuff or who gets uh, thrown over shores. At the very least, you have someone like that on your crew. It's even more of a benefit. Not even just being the helmsman, but for just for safety missions and that stuff. Ah! Keel. Attachment. Clank. Click. Yeah, so that thing is now like moving around. Rabbit. Screw propeller. And it's, okay, so Frankie's moving on. And wait a second. Now it's got like little torpedoes. Beep, 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 beep. And it just sends like two or three of them at him. Yeah, well, look at the explosion. Boom. What was that? The Sunny just goes on a slant. And then Frankie, Nami, Brooke, Robin, Usopp, and then Sanji and them are all like flying over around. Oh crap, we're capsizing. Ah, Robin chan, Nami san. So yeah, bro, did off one of Vegapunk's little things is doing that to the thousand Sunny. Nah man, this man this he is something different. After what's going on with the Seraphim, he is something different. Okay, so you see Jimmy now back under the water. He sees everyone else. Luffy Chopper, don't worry, I'm here. That noise, it sounded like an explosion. Hang on there, you three. Hang on, you three. We're heading up. And that thing has still got another one in this. Bro, hold on. Oh my, what a tremendous current. Steering a ship in its next is next to the impossible. And that thing is ready to fire right at Jimbei. A cannon? Hold your breath. We're going to dive. Huh. Oh, you see Bonnie after the... <laughs> with Luffy and Chopper. Here we go. The waves are too... Look at that thing. Bang. Like right after. Like the explosion just going off and stuff. As they're going right under the water to... To get away from the uh, the explosion. But that thing is still looking on. The sun is like turned upside down. Under the water. The waves are too strong. We can't get back up. Slurp. Oh. That is... That, that's... that's Oh, yo, <laughs> it's time for Gundam! It's time, listen, I've been waiting for this thing to finally start going in with Frankie and his mechanisms, bro. It is time! Get the Gundam out, baby! That thing is like, oh, nanny? 
And he's like, muscle car after? Bang, comes in with the left, just smashes it. I think he probably broke it on the, on the first strike. But you see Zoro afterwards and then just coming right out after. See, Nami, or as you know, should, yeah, it's Usopp. Should be, no, yeah, Usopp's here on the right side after. There's, uh, it looks like, I want to, no, I'm going to say that's, um, I want to say that's Nami there. Because then, yeah, so we're going to see the rest of them after coming in. Usopp, like, <laughs> yeah, my man's just like, uh, like, I'm dying, someone help me. All right. Oh, wait, don't, oh, they switched up. They switched up, they switched up, they switched up, they switched up. Don't do this to me. Oda, the crew is struggling. Now you want to switch up on me. Oh, this author, I swear. A nearby island, G14 naval base. Oh, I see Tashiga. It has been so long since we've seen her, man. God, I can't remember now the last time. I think it was at the end of Zoe because we know that she was... Is it time? Oh my god, they just clicked him. Oh my god, it's time. It's time. It has to be time. It has to be time, right, Oda? It has to be time. Where do we know that Tashigi, Smoker, and them kids were going? They're about to go see the real Dr. Eggman himself. Oh my god, Oda, don't. No, it has to no, It's the final song. It's right now. It's right now. No more silhouette, Kun. None of that, no more. It's time. Show me Dr. Eggman right now. Be good, boys and girls. Now, it's medicine time. So, Navy Headquarters, Captain Tashigi. So, no change in role so far. She still, still has his. I'm only drinking this because Tashiki-san said so. Yeah, so look at the kids. But it's been so long since Punk Hazard. It's crazy because, again, when I caught up with the series near, like, the middle end weekly uh, experience of uh, Punk Hazard, it feels like so long since I got to see, like, stuff like this, man. It really sets the clock back in motion. It's yucky, bleh. We're all swung quite a lot, haven't we? Absolutely. I hardly recognize you, Mocha. So, yeah, so a bunch of them, yeah, they did shrink up a little bit. Not uh, sufficient, but still. Tashigi, have you got a sec? Who in the hell is she? Bro, I need a front view. You're a vice admiral. Let me read. It's that pest Helmeppo. Can't you do something about him? G4. Wait, so Helmeppo's there. Like, cause, because of what happened with Kobe. Oh my god, there's still so much of Kobe. G14 commander, vice admiral, doll. Oh, hello there, baby doll. I'd like to introduce myself. Yo, she looks actually kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more. I need to see the front view. I got to see the whole package. You know what I'm saying? You know I can't. His best friend's life is on the line. And I'm worried about Captain Colby too. He's our junior as a Marine after all. Aw, look at him. Uh, who is this here? Please, you have to listen. I'm begging you. We're all on the same side, right? Navy Headquarters, Lieutenant Commander, Sword, Helmeppo. And Navy Headquarters Commander Sword Hibari. So, hold on. Kobe got him so little. I don't know if it's supposed to be from Helmeppo's girl, but even then, we got another member of Sword. This is nice. This is nice. Okay, so it's good to see where if new characters coming in. Again, maybe not crazy sufficient and stuff on the same level we think Kobe and them are going to be and stuff, but nice to see more members. Be introduced at the very least, though. So that's good. I second this. You hear? You hear? You hear? I like her already. I owe Kobe Senpai. Kobe got a cool vibe, bro. I love this room. Even though he's probably struggling right now, but still. Who are these two? You have to come with us to Pirate Island. Prince. Please, Prince, we need you. Pirate Island. That's Emperor Blackbeard's home turf. We'll be swarmed by pirates if we stick our noses into that beehive. Navy headquarters, rear admiral of sword, Prince Groose. Kobe has got some people under. Wow. Okay. I mean, technically, though, because of his position and stuff, they're, they're over him. But wow. Okay, so we're really starting to see. So, wait, so where they are right now is technically Swords Base. Not really. Uh, but then again, no, but Vega Punk's still going to be there, though. I'm going to still hold on to Kopia. That's why it's called Hachinosu. 
fair enough. Because yeah. it, it, yeah, you know, it is, it is, it is. I don't know why I was getting the thing mixed up with um, Wang Shi and stuff because I know the other name that's uh, sort of sounds similar. But Egghead's so close to us. Why can't we deploy a Sephirim? <laughs> the poor guy. Are you crazy? Both of you, calm down. At the moment, we can't get a hold of Drake either. We're in no position to act right now. Is that clear? This dude's got like the scruffy, like it's almost like you know what I want to say. I don't know why. It feels like almost like this is like a, a sibling or a relative to Green Bull. I don't know what it is. Maybe the facial structure and like the hair somewhat. But like, I don't know why. It's sort of like Gru's Green Bull. Like, I don't know. It feels like it's like a, a family member or something. I don't know why. It's just, he's just giving me those vibes and the facial structure and stuff. But anyways. Luffy good. Oh my god, it is time to cook. It is time to cook. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nah, bro, listen to me right now. I have been waiting so long now that I get to see the face. It has been too flippin' long, ladies and gentlemen. I am not taking one championship. Sit on my shoulder. We're not gonna just do that. You think that with the go here, my girl, who I've been putting over for a long time, people said the stocks were in the mud? Boy, I went and dug out the mud. Six feet, 12 feet, 18 feet. I pulled the stocks, guess what? I'm making bank. And you know how I'm making bank? We got ourselves two championship belts right here, but two belt Bonnie. That's how we're doing things, man. Two belt lads don't matter. I got two championships. Y'all don't. I'm eating. I'm eating. Let me read down first before I go into it, man. We're put, uh, uh, the belts stay on, they stay on, man. Louis group. How can you not know who I am? I'm part of the worst generation just like you. We were both on Sabaody two years ago. Oh, you're part of it too. So, because I remember Soro saw Bonnie and stuff. And, and again, I still remember the fact that Bonnie did say the next time she sees the Strauss because of the nonsense that happened with Luffy and uh, Charles and stuff, even though it was a gold moment and everything, she was going to pull up on Boy and uh, teach him a lesson in the new world. But still. Oh, my. All the stuff I said about you, Oda, about being a fraud, that someone had gone and took your pen and you were you were frauding in Wano and stuff, just let you know I was hacked, all right? I was hacked. I'm looking up because I, I, never, I recognize, right? Goda, right? We put the G before the Oda, right? I thank you. I thank you, my man. I thank you. I thank you. Listen, man, this panel was for me. It truly was for me. This is, like, I don't care what happens the rest of this chapter, man. This is what I needed. This is what we needed. Don't forget, we're enemies, and the name's Bonnie. Still, thanks for saving my bacon back there. Don't sweat it, bogey. <laughs> Already with the nickname. But even still, from the back, though, we love to see it. Ah, it's so cold. Wait, did he just smack Chopper? Are you seriously an emperor? <laughs> Oh, no, no, he's just doing like this one. I thought he just smacked him with his clothes, bro. That is so wild. All right. What's the deal with... the Bro, the fact that they, they're just literally just game changed. You know what? Bonnie's a real one, right? Shout out to Bonnie. Doesn't matter about gender or nothing, man. Listen, we, we trying to get jiggy with it, right? What's the deal with your wanted poster anyway? I thought your hair was white now. They made quite a stir about it in the papers, you know. Oh, that's just how I look when I'm totally free. Look at him, look at the pop out little, little muscles out and stuff too. Chopper got the little the, the hat and everything on too. Shout out to Tama. And Jim made just like, bro, listen, this is my first day on the job. I need to relax, bro. This is too much for me. What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you uh, worried about the rest of your crew? They'll figure it out. She, 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 she. I can't believe you got the Knight of the Sea with you too. I'm very curious what's going to happen for Bonnie, man. Because we don't know, like, again, her crew probably got locked up in Impel Down and stuff. She's on her own. Look. Still holding on to hope with the Yamato stuff, but I have a dream. It's right there. I'll talk about it more often. Anyways, since we're on the subject, what happened to your crew, your ship and crew? Okay, so we'll get the details now. I came alone. I love the, f oh my God. Listen, fan artists, I don't care. Don Baru, Gel Baru, whatever it may be, man. Y'all have a job. You have one job. You have one job. Get to work. Get to work. I came alone. That metal monster back there gobbled up my ship. That reminds me, I'm starving. Interesting. So, but the, is her crew like somewhere else at the moment? Or like, because again, we only know that she escaped from Impel Down and stuff, or at least escaped the custody of the Marines. So, 
unless they went separate ways or stuff for the moment so they don't uh, interact with her like so they don't get caught again at the same time and stuff maybe that's what the case is but yeah my, my girl is hungry man go get the pizza right now get a pizza right now stop man or the cc's or whatever man don't matter let's go find a restaurant i'm hungry oh, restaurant bro we're, we're, we out here in the all in the open bro what, what restaurant are you talking about i'm hungry too oh do you have any money on you luffy <laughs> who's gonna hit tell him Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> you boneheads don't have a clue, do you? You're not gonna find any food joints here. This is a government island. Is this Egghead? Is this Vegapunk? Oh my god. Oh no, what are we doing? Oh no, oh my god. There's no way they're gonna be the ones that run into him first. This is a government island. Do I have to spell everything out? Look at Chopper just like, yeah, he do. <laughs> That's just me literally looking at that body, bro. Bro, what is... You can't with the silhouettes, bro. You cannot with the silhouettes. I need a full view, bro. What is this island? We're on Egghead. The island that's said to be 500 years in the What? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> you know what? This is One Piece. We know the world is so wild and stuff, man. No, this, you know what? This is fair enough. Fair enough. This makes sense. This makes sense. Don't ask me how it makes sense. It makes sense. This is One Piece, man. Dr. Vegapunk's research lab is based here. Vegapunk. I know that name. If it was any, listen, any other person would be different, but this makes complete sense as this would be Vegapunk's Island. Because we remember the place that Frankie was at before was a former research lab place and everything, and then Punk Hazard. It makes sense he would be on somewhere like this, but 500 years. So, but my thing is, what the hell can make the island that? Toki's fruit? Maybe. Vegapunk's the reason I'm here. We've got business. I'm so scared. You know what? Let me put the titles now. I feel like I'm going to end up whipping these titles. Somehow, something is telling me inside right now. I don't know if it's my conscious or whatever. Like, Laz, put the championship belts down because you may end up whipping them at the monitor, at somebody, maybe at Oda. I don't know. I am very scared. Not right now. It's what's about to happen. The titles stay right here. Just know there's two championship belts here, man. Okay, so now... Okay, so you see the Gundam Frankie? <laughs> That's just... Pull the sunny out, so we're good over there on that front. See Frankie, Nami, Us uh, Usopp, Zoro, Caribou, of course, because of the freaking uh, him in the barrel and everything. Giant robot! And translation of old-timer speed, too, okay? God, don't look, oh, Rob, feel Robin and Nami, bro, throw, throw him right now in the tub. <laughs> After what just happened, throw him in the tub. God, this won't do it all. It's another failure. Hmm, I wonder why, though. Perhaps overriding primal desires is simply impossible. Somebody's coming out. Oh yeah, there is somebody in there. Who the hell is that? Thanks for saving... Wait, how utterly vexing. Thanks for saving us. Who are you? I ordered the Mecha Shark to scout, report, and fire, but if it keeps trying to eat ships, there won't be anything left to salvage. I must have bungled the programming. Who in God's name is this? Forgive me, but did you just say I saved you? Oh, you naive pirates. I work for the government despite my mediocrity. They like to call me their scientific genius. No way. No way. No way. I'm not scrolling down there. I'm not scrolling down there. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. No flipping way. Is this how we win? Yeah, are we about to really, really, really win? Are, 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 are we really about to win, dog? You can call me Dr. Vega. <laughs> Dr. 
There is no way. Listen, I saw that big old head. I saw that big old head in the Caesar flashback. Nah, bro. What? Nah, there's no way can in the chapter. There's a break. What is wrong with this head? Bro! Let me scroll down. I see art. Oh. Who put this? Who drew this? Yash? Shout out to Yash for this bunny art. Oh my god, this is fire. Bro! Vega Funk is a baddie! Yo! Nah, bro, we, I need a third championship. I need, listen, we have to get a third championship. There's no way. You can't get two. Two right here is just not enough to appreciate what the hell we just got in this chapter. Bro! Put the titles down. Oh, my... Listen. Bonnie alone, I was already fine with. Because, like, bro, this is how we win. Vega Punk. Right here. Like, again, Egghead, I Love the Future... We're going to eventually see him. I did not think that Vegapunk will be a woman. Based on the flashbacks and all that stuff. With the big old head and everything. Y'all remember, y'all saw that. Hood line and sinker. Hood wink. Bamboozled. Run amok. But we gladly take it. <laughs> ain't no way I'm going to complain about that. Stephen A. Smith couldn't complain about that. I ain't got to me complain about it. Are you serious? Bro, listen to me. I got Bunny and a female Dr. Vegapunk. A lady. The genius herself. That is crazy. Nah, this is how you win. This is how... No, we all won. We all won. Even the naysayers. We all won. That is crazy. So, like... But what reason does Bonnie have exactly there? Unless there's something... Because that's my thing. I'm I'm like looking at this woman there. Right? The thing on, I'm like, there's probably her right... You know, Vegapunk's right hand or something. That's what my, my mind is probably telling me, right? Because if we're, we're going to go on a break, it's like, okay, then you know what? Maybe he's just going to do the bamboo. No, he's going to actually feed me for once. I'm not even malnourished anymore. I'm nourished. That is... Bro... That is insane. No, this is actually one of the most... No, this design is fire. It might just be like a tight suit and everything. But the jacket is cold, bro. The helmet. Oh, she is so goaded, bro. Black loves to... She's an Anthony Marshall fan. I don't care what the world wants to see. She is a Tony FC fan. Okay? Marshall FC. That's how you win. You know what? This is what Anthony Marshall needed. Not his wife. The divorce was the best thing that could ever happen to him. There we go. There we go. That's what we needed. We needed this. There we go. But yeah, let me let me say this right now because my head right now is like all up in the air. For I can I didn't even bring up doll. Let me let me go back. We had all this stuff that's been going on with the Straw Hats and Bonnie, with the Mecha Shark. And basically, it was Vegapunk going after them. Vegapunk was the one basically going after them more so. And then you go with Tashigi and them and everything, where they're trying to figure out, you know, again, taking care of the kids, how Meppo wants to go and try and retrieve Colby and stuff, but Gruus and them are saying, nah, we cannot go and do that, because, like, bro, we got problems already. We don't know what's going on with Drake, which is very interesting, too, so we'll have to see what's going to happen there after the fact. I hope it's not going to be, like, too long until we see what's going on with them, but... Doll, though, looks absolutely fine. I need more. I need, like, a proper front view of Doll. That's enough. That's the only other thing I can ask for, man. That's literally, like, if I'm winning 2 nothing and I need, like, the tap-in in the 90-something minutes just to dead the game, that's what I need right now. So, Oda, please, give me more Doll. Hibari, look, she looks absolutely cute, and I would not be surprised if, like, she's, like, completely going whole for uh, for Colby. I mean, she got two hearts right there with the, the satchel thing that she has on and stuff. I mean, come on. Headphones on, everything. I don't know what she's bumping, but she's bumping greatness, all right? And the Groose thing, I don't know. He, for whatever reason, reminds me for some reason as like, uh, maybe could be like a relative, possibly to Green Bull. I don't know why. It's just a facial thing. It's just 
screams uh, Green Bull for me. The Bonnie, this is how I win. This is truly how I win. Like, I, smile on my face. You see the goddamn smile. Do you see two belts? Ladies and gentlemen. I could combine them, but still, that's two belts right there. Two bell body, man. Oh, my God. And then, you're telling me, like, again, we still need to know what's going on with her and everything, right? She came alone, all that and stuff, right? There's details that need to be provided, right? So, hopefully, this sit down with Vegapunk, maybe it gives us something here after. We don't know if Vegapunk will be a complete ally or not, but we know for a fact that they had connections and stuff with, you know, with Judge... You know, the whole life factor and stuff, like the lineage factor and everything. I need to see, like, the full shot, though, of Egghead, man. Like, this looks like it's going to be an absolute, like, a freaking crazy-ass island. Like, a compass thing, cracked egg, whatever. Like, it just looks so lit, man. But 500 years in the future. I'm going to presume Toki's Delfru has something to do with this. Like, an awakening on the island itself or whatever it may be. That's the only thing I can think of. Because otherwise, like, that is just insane. To believe, like, ah, uh, and like, you can tell there's like little buildings and stuff near the bottom, I think, or whatever. So, like, it's almost like there's a city within the island, and then it's like, there you go. So, well, actually, no, hold on. I, thank God we're still, we're still recording because I just realized right now, I thought that was the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the thing that we saw with the Gundam and stuff for Frankie, but it says Vegapunk right there. So, it's Vegapunk's actual, like, uh, Gundam and everything. So, there you go. Thank you for the clarification. I was like wondering, like, she didn't come out the shark. No, it was like the um, her own little Gundam and stuff that she has. Maybe it's a Zaku. Maybe it is. Hold on. But yeah, no, this this is a chapter, man. Like, not only give me Bonnie, like, and the art that came with it, but you gave Vega Punk. This is how you do a debut, a proper one. A thousand some chapters were in the story, and now we actually get a proper design. A proper like this is this is Vegapunk, man. Yeah, this is what the doctor ordered. This is the cure that I needed and stuff, you know, from all the stuff that's been going on health wise and everything, man. This is what I needed. So, no, nah, we gotta put the belts on. I'm sorry. We got we to close out this man, we gotta put the belts on. I feel like I'll be disrespecting Bonnie, I feel like I'm disrespecting Vegapunk. I'm disrespecting Oda right now. I'm not putting the belts on. That's what that's how we gotta do this, man. We wrapping it up like this. Make sure that the light is shining completely on it, man. Listen, this was a Fire chapter. Already, in terms of post Wano, I am loving the direction right now that One Piece is going in. You know, we still, again, this arc probably right now, we're dealing with this whole Vegapunk stuff and all that. As like a mini bridge and stuff, maybe after we go to Elbaf and see what's going on. But right now, at this moment, stick around to here. Let me get as much info, fun, greatness, whatever it may be from this. Bonnie and Vegapunk, bro, y'all, I need that. I need that. So, 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10, 50 out of 10, 100 out of 10, infinity sign out of 10. 500 years into the future out of time. You know them ways. <laughs> Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. My head is actually smoking. I'm going to need to talk to somebody after about this. And I know who I'm going to talk to, the King of Hype himself, my boy King Recon. I'm going to have to go and call him up and just, we're going to talk. We're going to talk, man. So, stay tuned for whatever may be coming up uh, within the next week or so. But, guys... Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know how we feel about the chapter itself. Were you surprised that this is the design we got here right now for Vegapunk? And if you had to go and put your own spin on what exactly happened to Bonnie and stuff, like, you know, to further little things and stuff, you know, regarding your crew and make more timbits of what happened to Mary Joa, unless we were to get the details. But if you have your own spin on it, let me know down in the comments. How are we feeling about the people's sword that we're seeing right now at the moment? Do you still think that there are more members to come, especially one individual that I did talk about in the sword video years ago? I will link that at the end of the video so you guys can see for yourself. But man, this is a, this is a chapter and a half, man. But as I said, thoughts down in the comments below. Like it if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel, guys, are new here. If you want to be a part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of One Piece, week in week out, <laughs> there ain't no better time than right now, man. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell at Shandor. See if the day where everything goes on the channel. With that being said. I will catch you guys in two weeks' time. I'm going to try and find some ways to make time in the week to, you know, get some stuff together, talk about what we're seeing right now before us in the greatest adventure story ever told, man. The fact that you got an island right here, 500 years something in the future, and people are going to tell you this is not the greatest adventure story ever told. They are lying to you, and you know what series they rep, and I'm not going to mention their name. They don't deserve it. 
So, gold pieces here, man. It truly, truly is. Shout out to Goda. The man is not back. He's been here. He has been here. So, Commodore Lad signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy. I'm with the team, yeah, yeah, we going crazy.